is Asha from the Adobe Cold Fusion Engineering team. Uh, in Cold Fusion 10, uh, Jaren, which was the application server earlier, has been replaced with Tomcat. As part of this change, uh, the connector files have also been changed. A connector is used to configure an external web server like IS or Apache. Since we are using Tomcat's connector, uh, uh, the connector files have also been changed from Cold Fusion 9. So in today's demo, I'm going to talk about Apache connector configuration files. Um, before I start the demo, I would like to say that I'm using Windows platform to demonstrate uh, the Apache connector configuration. Uh, before I go to the connector configuration, let me take a step back and talk about one of the important configuration files of Tomcat uh, that is the server.xml. So where can we find this server.xml? Let's go to Code Fusion 10, C Fusion, Runtime Conf, and here we have the server.xml file. So the server.xml has uh, two important uh, connector blocks. One is this connector block, which is for the internal web server. So as you can see, the port is 8500. 8500 is the default port for internal web server. And the protocol used here is HTTP. So if you would wish to change the port of internal web server, or if you would like to make any configuration change this with respect to internal web server, this is the block which you would need to change. So this connector block is for internal web server. Similarly, there's another connected block for external web server. That is uh, the connected block where the protocol is AJP. So, and the port is 8012. So this means that a uh, connector uses this protocol AJP and port 8012 to talk to Cold Fusion server. So these are the two connected blocks, uh, which would be very helpful if you want to debug any connector issues, like say the port is blocked due to some reason and you're not able to configure uh, the external web server. This is the place where you check for the port and see if everything is running fine. So now that we talked about uh, server.xml, let's get back to Apache connector configuration. In Cold Fusion 10, uh, the configuration files for connector are placed in config folder. That is C Cold Fusion 10 config. If you go to WS config, this is where the connector configuration files are placed. So if you go to one, you can see some connector configuration files. So in Cold Fusion 10, uh, you can configure the connector via two ways. One is during installation, that is through Cold Fusion installer or via the WS config tool. So now I've configured the connector using the WS config tool. So the WS config tool is located in Cold Fusion 10, C Fusion, Runtime Bin, and the WS config tool is right here. So let me run the WS config tool. So as you can see, I've already configured Apache. So if you wish to configure Apache as your web server, all you need to do is select Apache as your web server and select the configuration directory. That is go to Apache and the con folder. So once you select this and click OK, the Apache external web server Apache gets configured. So once your Apache is configured, now let's get back and see what are the configuration files which got added and what got changed on the Apache side. So if I go to Code Fusion 10, config, WS config, one folder, I can see the connector configuration files. You can see workers.properties file, URA workermap.properties, mod underscore jk.so, mod underscore jk.log. So what does each, each one of these files contain? Let's go to workers.properties. So if you see workers.properties, uh, it says that worker.list is equal to cfusion. So this means that the connector is configured for your server cfusion. And the type is AJP13. So this is the protocol which the connector uses to connect to localhost via port 8012. So now let's open the other file that is URI worker map dot properties. 
So here, this is where all the mappings are set. You can see that star.cfm, star.cfm slash star, which are all relevant to cold fusion, all the extensions uh, which are relevant to cold fusion are mapped in this file. And you can see that all these mappings point to cfusion. That is your cfusion uh, server is, is configured for Apache connector. Also, you can see mod underscore jk.so and this is the connector module which gets loaded once your connector is configured and Apache is restarted. This is the connector module which gets loaded. And mod underscore jk.log file uh, is, is, the log, is the log file where everything gets logged. Now that we know the configuration files which are uh, created on the cold fusion end, let's go to Apache and see what has changed there. So as you can go to a uh, conf folder that is apache conf and open the httpd.conf file which is the main configuration file for apache. We can see this new line which got added which includes mod underscore jk.conf. So mod underscore jk.conf is the file which ColdFusion has created and this line indicates that apache needs to read this configuration file. So let's open mod underscore jk.conf file. So if you see mod underscore jk.conf file, you can see references to all those files which we have spoken earlier, that is workers.properties, URA worker map.properties. So this conf file tells Apache that it needs to load a module called mod underscore jk.so from this location and it can find the workers.properties file from this location and URI worker map.properties from this location. Uh, one other important thing to note here is the jk log level. The jk log level is info right now but if you wish to enable verbose logging to debug any issues all you need to do is change the info to debug. So you need to change info to debug and restart your web server and uh, it would enable the verbose logging. So these are the main configuration files uh, which get created and these are the changes which happen on Apache side when a connector is configured. So this is all about uh, Apache connector configuration files. Uh, so that's it for now and uh, uh, I'll be doing some more sessions about in detail about Apache virtual host configuration, IS configuration, etc. From So please uh, stay tuned and follow us on this channel. Thank you.